Hello and welcome back to Marco in a Box. This is Marco. And this is Alan. And today we're here to talk about Italian words you've been mispronouncing your entire life. Italians use a lot of English words on a daily basis like mouse, computer, desktop, cool, trendy and many many more. However, even English speakers use a lot of Italian words every day. And it's mainly to do with food and fashion. And they often don't pronounce them correctly. So today we want to show you how to pronounce Italian words the right way so you can impress people next time you're at the restaurant. So for the purpose of this exercise I'm going to pronounce the words the way I used to pronounce them before I was gently instructed how to correctly pronounce them. Okay, so you ready? Let's start! This is a really common one. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. Pistachio. Pistacchio. Gelato. Gelato. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Latte. Latte. Biscotti. Biscotti. Ciabatta. Ciabatta. So here you will see a pattern of double T's that are not actually pronounced or in American English they turn into a D for some weird reason and that's not the case like double T is double T. T. So you should pronounce T. Ciabatta. <laughs> Ciabatta. It's so much fun in our house, it really is. Spaghetti. T. It's quite easy. I don't understand where Spaghetti. the T. Spaghetti. Where does the D Spaghetti. come from? There's no Spaghetti. T. 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 <laughs> Try it. Spaghetti. Another very common mistake is the final E. Versace. Versace. Grazie. Grazie. Eh, grazie. Grazie! A lot of people say grazie. Gracias in Spanish. Salami. Salame. Linguini. <sighs> Linguine. 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 There's an mm. E. Minestroni. Minestrone. E. Minestrone. Bravo. Bolognese. So the two things that are so wrong with this word is Bolognese. So G-N is Ñ. And the final E is pronounced E. Bolognese, which means from Bologna. Nie. 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 Bolognese. Ze. Bolognese. 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 <laughs> Mascarpone. 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 Ma Mascarpone. 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 No. Mascarpone. Mascarpone. Okay. Mascarpone. <laughs> Final E, please pronounce it. E. It's an E. Eh. It's like eh. espresso. Most Americans will pronounce that espresso with an uh -huh. X. Yes. And again, there's no X in there. It's espresso. But it's express. No, it's espresso. S -s -s. Parmigiano. Parmigiano. G followed by an I is G. Parmigiano. You don't actually stress the syllable. 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 Yes. Parmigiano. Parmigiano. Okay. Ferrari! And again, this is about like double consonant in Italian. It has to be pronounced. There's a double R in there. And you have to roll your R even more. Ferrari. Not Ferrari. Margarita? It's Margherita. Margherita. G. Margherita. So G H is G. G. The same way C H is K. There are very few rules in Italian pronunciations. And you guys get them all wrong. Tortellini? Tortellini. Lini. L. Double L. Tortellini. It's a lot of work. Tortellini. Tortellini. Close enough. <laughs> you don't have to move your yeah, hands. Yeah. <laughs> Tortellini. Ravioli? You guys put the accent on the wrong vowel. It's not ravioli, it's ravioli. It's on the O. Ravioli. Uh, ravioli. No! <laughs> ravioli. Ravioli. It's an open ravioli. O. Ravioli. ravioli. So it's very simple, like French has something like 20 plus vowels, like sound vowels. Italian only has seven phonetic vowels. A, E, E, I, O, A, U. That's it. O and E are either open or closed. O, A, A, E, E. A, E, A, this is <laughs> ready to eat the yeah, yeah. Ravioli. Yeah, yeah. Just remember. That's the Ravioli. rule to remember. Oh, this one is fun. Tagliatelli. G L is Y. So it's pronounced Y. So taglia. And then there's a double L, tagliatelle. 
and there's a final E. So okay. tagliatelle e. So it's basically open it. wrong from start to finish tagliatelle. Yeah. So bad. It's kind of easy once you know the GL kind of So sound. I think Italian is actually one of the few languages in the world where you actually pronounce exactly everything that's written. So unlike French, unlike Spanish, unlike English, you just need to learn a few pronunciation rules and you're yeah. good to go. Lasagna. Actually, funny enough, lasagna is not really a thing. We call them lasagne, it's always plural. Le lasagne della mamma. Le lasagne della mamma. It's not la lasagna. Gnocchi? That was good. Yeah. The first time I saw it on a menu, I couldn't order it because I didn't know how to pronounce gnocchi. 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 Yeah, most people would say gnocchi. Really? Gnocchi. So, again, GN is ng. So, gnocchi. Double C and CH, which is K. So it's gnocchi. In Italian slang also mean handsome guys. Really? Yeah. Like those gnocchi over there? Yeah. And now we're moving to names. And this one is one that really pisses me off. <laughs> In both American English and British English. Marco. You know to call me now, more or less. Okay. In the US they would call me Marco. 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 And here in the UK they would call me Marco. Marco. Like Michael. Marco. 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 It's Marco. 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 And this is how I learned my pronunciation. Marco. Correctly. So rolling the R in Italian is extremely important. Every time there's an R, it's an R. I park my car in the car. And we should do a video of how to teach you to do an English accent. Car. Park. Marco. Giovanni? It's Giovanni. 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 Andrea. It's actually Andrea. And in Italian, unlike English, Andrea is actually a male name. What? Yeah, it's a guy's name. It's a guy name. Well, that's confusing. So I'm not sure Alan would graduate from this little experiment of ours. I don't know. What, what grade should we give you? L for learning. C plus. So please just learn these very few simple rules of Italian pronunciation and you will impress all of your friends and... First dates. First dates. Mm -hmm. And like a good Italian restaurant. And order the bruschetta. Share with your friends, especially those who are mispronouncing all of these Italian words. Which is everyone. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're gonna make more of these videos coming soon. Make sure you also check out the Italian in a Box playlist because that's full of like funny videos on how to be Italian, how to date an Italian and how to gesticulate like an Italian and even how to cook Italian food Ravioli! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and see you very soon for another video of Marco in a box and Alan and Alan too.